What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has posted a day in the life video. It's 15 minutes, so I expected some filler. But, you know, this video is probably one of the most telling videos we've ever seen from her. But you have to look at it at more than face value to understand. We start with Hamio, we get pet photos, and she has to introduce this vlog. She said she's going to try to walk a bit. She needs to go to the clinic. She wants to show us progress of her walking. And then she said she made a pot pie. It's smaller than the last time because she loves it so much she wanted to kind of restrict the portion she could have. And she says that she's getting better. She just has some flare-ups. She's been stretching a bit. And despite saying it's none of our business, she then goes on to say it's Valentine's Day. Her immobility is going to impact them celebrating, so they are simply going to have dinner and watch some movies. Now, for those of you keeping track, this is three minutes and 22 seconds of telling what the next minutes will be. And I understand from a composition standpoint, this is taking around a quarter of the video to simply tell us what she's going to show us rather than show us. We then see her whisking gravy, using frozen vegetables, a rotisserie chicken. She then eats half of the pie herself. And I just want to take a slight sidebar here. Five minutes, 17 second mark. So a third of the video, essentially, done. And we've talked about what we want to do, what we need to do. We've shown food, we've made it, we've ate it. And I just want you to understand in a vacuum, this is the issue. For every goal or task Chantal has, the same path to completion is here. We're going to spend roughly a third of the time talking about the task. Then we're going to talk about food. We're going to prepare food. We're going to eat food. And then, of course, before we even get started, there has to be a reward for even attempting this. So we see her waiting for nice coffee. Seeing this in video form for me at least, just strengthens it. You know, it can never be my health's in dire straits. I need to get my life back in order. And if I don't, I'm going to have a poor quality of life. Instead, it's let's talk about what I need to do, how I think I can accomplish it. Let's have some comforting food to help relieve the stress of talking about it and the hard work in front of me. And then let's reward ourselves for the smallest of tasks. In this case, it's just going to the doctor. So we talk about how our mobility is limited. We need to start walking. We go out to a place to walk, but not before we have a pot pie and a coffee. Because the thought of walking is overbearing. We need something to make us feel happy about ourselves. And we need to encourage ourselves with a snack or a treat for simply leaving the home. And she honestly relays this in the video as the mocha just being a comfort, and then justifies it as she hasn't had one in a long time. And it's just the small size. It's 100% rationalization. We then, of course, have to get to filler content, the mall, the roadside stands. And this apparently turned into the exercise portion of the video. Going out and being with these camels. Now listen, she's been told countless times, keep your face away from these animals, keep your hands away from these animals. She doesn't care. She's going to interact with them. They're wild animals. I get that they're cute. I do. But at the same time, this is a wild animal. It's out there in the wild. There's disease. There's fleas. Bars. Would you go out to a random woodland creature and just start dragging your mouth and face all over it? Or would you allow it to do it to you? Of course not. She's likely taking whatever disease this animal has right back to her pets. It's going to stay on her clothes. And I would just also like to point out why you look at these images. This person has constantly came online and projected multiple 10 plus pound weight losses. So rather than put in the hard work to actually reclaim your health, we're letting a camel drag its neck all over our face and whisper into its ear that it's the sweetest camel. And then when she goes to leave, the camel kicks her. Her proclamation after all this is that just standing up and being out in the sun is healing. Then we get a glimpse behind the curtain, thanks to Sala, because we see the real struggle is getting into the car. And once she gets into the car and we're comfortable, what are we doing? Well, we're filming her 
not wearing a seatbelt while driving down the road. This is something they've both been told to stop doing because it's just stupid. It's unsafe. It's also against the Kuwaiti laws. And by the way, they fine you if they see it. And I don't mean like they see it. I mean, if they can see it, they'll send you the fine. So this video right here very likely could get them fined. They don't mess around there. And what is the point of this? To show she can dance with her hands? Pretty soon that's the only way she's going to be able to dance. She's going to be stuck in a chair. And she just doesn't seem to get it. We then get filler content. Out the side window. We talk about how it's rain there. And there's, you know, obviously some runoff areas that have filled in with water. She proceeds to use this as an opportunity to get out and pose. 90 seconds left, we're at the clinic. The actual topic of the video, our health, going to the doctor, is the last 90 seconds. Look at all the things we put before this. Again, in a vacuum, this is all the issues. Right? For so many of us, hey, I don't feel good. I need to go to the doctor. Hey, I've got a medical issue. I need to go to the doctor. You do what you need to do. You go to the doctor. You go to the dentist. It's not enjoyable for anyone. No one says, oh, man, I cannot wait to get to the dentist today. I mean, maybe some people do, but I, I don't think most do. But I do know that most people don't sit there and say, well, I've got the doctor. I've got the dentist coming up. Let me get a pot pie prepared. Let me sit and talk about my feelings about the dentist. Before I get there, I better stop at a petting zoo. Well, you know, before we get to the petting zoo, I should stop and get something because, you know, just getting out of the house was an accomplishment. Let me get an iced coffee. I mean, Chantal, are you serious with this? The doctor tells you you need to lose weight. Your response is to get lunch and head home. Oh, and by the way, lunch is French fries, chicken salad, hummus. But don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. She's not going to eat the fries. She said so. If you ever really need to get to a point in four, five, six months down the road where Chantal has put herself in a position where she honestly can't move or maybe even has to have a procedure to have something removed, everyone can go back to this video and understand why. Because this video is the complete truth of her situation. And this is exactly why people told her she needed to stay out of Kuwait and go back to Canada. Because no one in Canada was more than likely going to allow her to live this way. You can say whatever you want about her family, Pete's, doesn't matter. There's no one there, I truly believe, that was going to be 100% complacent in her becoming immobile. I just don't see it. I think someone would have intervened and said, no, you're not living your life this way. If nothing else, I don't think a parent or Pete's is going to film her going down the road without a seatbelt on. So if we can all have common ground with that, then I suppose that would be where the, the smallest step of common ground we would have together is. I want to close this video out by saying Chantal has said a lot about being called Miriam, and I've had some time to reflect, and perhaps I can use a better choice of words given everything we learned last night and today. So I am now going to refer to her still as ham, okay? I'm still going to use the ham, okay, because I think that's fitting and correct. But I am going to augment it to not as closely mock Miri, okay? I'm going to call her Victham because that is what she wants to be more than anything else. And she is the reason she is the Victham. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Top comments from probably one of my most well-received videos. And you know, I will be back as soon as I can with more content.